What's up guys, this is Junior from CR42 Hunting. Welcome to another video. Today's video is gonna be really, really cool. I'm super excited about doing this video for you guys. So I was in Walmart the other day doing one of our ammo hunts and I came across this little Axion Absolute Zero. So if you guys aren't familiar with this little Axion Absolute Zero, it's supposed to be like a quicker way to sight in your rifle. So I'll explain what this little thing's supposed to do now. I went on Amazon, I read some reviews, I watched some videos online. Uh, it was like $45 on Amazon and this was $19 at, at Walmart. So it was an incredible, incredible buy. So I kind of run through what this thing is supposed to do and wh what it came with. So in the box, uh, it came with this little ring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount it. It's got these two lasers. We're gonna mount it here on top of our scope. It's got a couple of adjustments. So you got uh, either one inch or you got the 30 millimeter uh, adjustment that you can make. Had a couple of batteries that I put inside here and you turn it on this way. So let me show you guys what this is supposed to do in theory. So after we get this thing mounted, and the cool thing about this, you see it's got the little Picatinny rail on the side. You can mount this here on top of your scope. You can mount it underneath your gun. You can mount it on the side. So we're gonna try it on top and we're gonna see how they work. So what all came in the box, uh, obviously it came with this little unit. It came with this, this ring. Uh, and then it came with these. So the way these things are supposed to work is we got it mounted down range and we'll get a close up of it down range when we go down there. And we're, we're gonna start at 50 yards. And the concept is you take these two lasers and you're gonna pick spots. So let's say we put it on A and F, uh, the two lasers, as we take our shot, um, we'll take our shot and then we'll reset and get back to A and F if that's what we end up on. And then we'll move our optic to our, our hole, whatever hole we hit. And then you're supposed to be sighted in. You're supposed to be able to take another shot, obviously at the bullseye and you're supposed to be sighted in. So it's a good way uh, for you not to spend a lot of money on ammo supposed to save money obviously same save ammo save time so it was 20 bucks we'll give it a shot see how good it works it came with like three or four of these little stickers so we'll give it a shot the other thing that we're going to do here in this video if you guys remember uh, a couple of months ago if you guys follow the channel we got a budget scope on amazon this scope was 48 dollars on amazon so this is a cv life and i think this is 6 to 24 by 50 it was, and we'll put a link down in the description for you guys, but this was 48 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it's got, here, it's got a parallax, which you don't always get on these cheaper scopes. We got a parallax there. Obviously we got our windage and our up and down here. This one actually came with a little red dot or green dot laser also, and it's six to 24 power. So uh, it's, a, it's supposed to be a budget optic. So the thing for me is, yeah, if you can afford to go out and get a, optic that's three or four times more than your rifle then go for it but there's a lot of guys that like the the budget options and this was 48 bucks so for me i'm hunting anywhere from between 40 and 100 yards my typical shot today we're going to get this thing sighted in at 50. we'll take it back to 100 after we get it sighted in and then we're going to go back to 250 and really test this thing out and uh see if it was worth our 48 bucks for me if for 48 dollars i can get the optic that can take me out from 250 to 300 yards then it's a steal so we're gonna test this CV Life, this budget scope out. We're gonna test out this Axion, absolute zero. Uh, let me tell you guys a little bit about what we're shooting. I got my Palmetto State Arms uh, AR-10. This is chambered in 308. Uh, from back to front, it's got an adjustable buttstock. This uh, pistol grip on here is really, really comfortable. Um, this is just, man, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful rifle. It, was about 1200 bucks if i remember right uh on their website and they, they're always out because it's such a good bargain it's a really really good shooting ar-10 it's got this picatinny rail uh, that runs the entire length of the rifle uh I, I put this caldwell uh accessory on this bipod did not come with this so i added that uh but everything else and obviously outside of the optic uh this is just how the rifle came so i really really love this this AR-10, but we're gonna give it a shot today. Show you guys who we're gonna be shooting. We got this 308, 150 grain core lock from Remington. And let me take out one of these. This is what we're shooting. And I think Jake, so Zach is out hunting today. So Jake is my camera guy today. Thank you, Jake. Uh, we got this thing loaded up. Jake got it loaded up for us. So 
we're gonna stop talking now and get to shooting we'll load this thing up we'll go down and get our camera turned on we're 50 yards we'll take a couple shots and uh see how good this axion works so we're going to get it strapped up on here and um take some shots and see if it works all right so here's a little up close look at today's test you guys can see that strip for the axion right there we'll take a couple shots from here at 25 and we go back to 50 100 and 200 we'll be shooting at that little six inch steel target and we'll be trying to hit these two liters also at 200 yards these are about four inches wide and then we'll be taking some shots at this target too which is given to me by one of my good buddies i'll tell you guys a little bit about his company here in a bit so that's today's test let's go back to 25 yards and get at it all right guys so we got the axion on top we got it turned on uh, we're gonna line it up and take our first shot see where it hits we'll make an adjustment and then we'll take another shot and see if we zero all right, Mr. Jago, you ready? Ready. All right. Let's get these lasers lined up. Let's take a shot. All right. Let's go down and see what we did. So we, we took our first shot. The Axion on. You can still see that laser right here. So I'll go back down. We'll get the lasers put back on where I had it holding. And it's pretty close already. We were right here. So we'll go down. We'll use the Axion. Line it back up, make a small adjustment, line back up and take another shot and see where we hit. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so we made some small adjustments with the Axion. We got it turned off now. We'll take another shot at the plate and uh, see where we hit and go from there. All right, Mr. Jake, are you ready, sir? Let's do it. All right, here goes nothing. down and see where we hit all right so this is our first shot today here was our second shot so we're still pretty close i'll probably make one more small uh micro adjustment and see if we can't get a little bit closer to this bullseye and then we're going to yank this thing out of the way um for most hunters they're shooting between 50 and 100 yards so we got that, that six inch steel back there which i showed you guys earlier that's where we'll be taking a shot at from here on out so we're going to go back to 50 we're going to take three or four shots at that. We may take some shots at the man size uh, target here uh, that my buddy gave me. Uh, and then we'll go back to 100. We'll take some more shots at that steel. And we'll go back to 200. We'll take some more shots at that little small steel. So the reason we're shooting at that is six inches. And if you can hit a six inch area, uh, either on a deer, a hog, caribou, elk, whatever, then you're going to be successful at, at harvesting that animal. So I'm not really uh, super overexcited about trying to you know, get a tight group at 100 with that scope. Uh, that wasn't the intent of this video. The intent of this video was to see if that $48 CB Life uh, budget scope will actually be sufficient for hunters. So that's why we're going to use that, that six inch steel. Um, that's the intent of this video. We may do another video later where we go back to 100 and we actually do some grouping just to see how good we can get that thing to group. So anyway, let's move back to 50, take some shots, and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, so here's the first test for this little budget CV Life 6 to 24 power. I'm on six power right now, so we'll take three shots at the man size, uh, that pink steel, and then we'll go down to that little six-inch target and uh, see what we can do. All right, Mr. Jake, are we rolling? We rolling. All right, let's do it. From 50 yards, we had no problem hitting our, our man size mannequin or steel or the little six inch target that we had swinging. So Jake and I are gonna move back to 100 yards and uh, see what we got. So far this little $48 uh, budget scope off of Amazon, this little CV Life 6x24, um, even for most of the shots I take when I hunt, I'm usually 40 to 60 yards. So, so far I like it, especially for $48. So. Let's move back to 100 yards and see what happens. All right, you can see my three shots there from 50. 
Um, fresh out. So we're going to put a fresh coat of paint on this thing and move it back to 100 yards. All right, guys. So we move back to 100 yards. We'll do the same thing. I'm going to take three shots at the big target. Then I'll take three shots at that little six inch target. Then I think we're going to have Jake shoot uh, my core lock because remember right now we're shooting these full metal jacket boat tails. So I'll let Jake shoot some actual hunting ammo, which is that core lock. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, Jake, you ready to do it? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Aiming at that big one. All right, let's see if we can hit that little target. Give it a couple more zooms. All right, you rolling? We rolling. That was a little high. Okay, guys, we loaded back up with some more ammo. I'm going to take one more shot at the, the mannequin size target, and then I'll go back down to the small target and see what we got here from 100. All right, Jake, you ready? We ready. All right. Sending. Go down to that small one, see what we can do. All right. So Guys, like we talked about before, we're back now at 100 yards. We got a $48 scope that we got on Amazon from CV Life. Uh, shout out to CV Life. Uh, man, for $48, you really can't go wrong. We're back at 100 yards. We're hitting a little six inch uh, target consistently. Uh, but like I told you guys, we go back to 200. So we're gonna go back to 200 yards. We'll take some more shots at that mannequin size steel. We'll take some more shots at the little six inch steel. And we'll try to get even fancier and take some shots at those little two liters. But before we do that, uh, I'm going to have Jake use some of the core lock. Uh, so we're going to use some different ammo and see what kind of results we get from 100 yards uh, with some actual hunting ammo. So we'll switch roles. I'll record. And Jake, you come take some shots with that core lock. Let's do it. Uh, take a shot at the big one first and see what happens with that core lock. Ready? Yes, sir. Rolling. Hit. Hit. Take some at that small one with that core lock. Let's see what happens. Hit. Hit. All right. Good shooting, Jake. So let's move back to 200, man, and uh, See what happens. All right, guys, so we're moving back to 200 yards. We're gonna take some shots at the, the mannequin size steel. Then we'll take some shots at the six inch target. And then Jake and I'll switch. I'll let him put in the core lock and we'll take some more shots. Then I think we'll switch again and see if we can hit some of those two leaders down there. So Jake, you ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Sending. Let's take the safety off. Sending. Hit. Sending again, same target. All right, let's try that small one and see what we can do. Definitely hanging now. Let's see if I can hit it hanging. <laughs> How about that? 
That's a shot. All right, so we'll switch. We'll let Jake put it in the core lock and take a couple more shots and see if he can hit it too. Hit. Hit. All right, see if you can take a stab at that little uh, six inch that's hanging now. Hit. That's a dang good shot, man. I don't like big red. You know what? Go ahead and take a shot at that big red, man. You first. See what really you can like do. All right, take one more. Nope. You out? All right, let's switch. Yeah. See what I can do with it. All right, guys. So I think we've already proven that this little forty-eight dollars six by twenty-four by fifty CV Life scope more than did the job. Uh, this cost us forty-eight dollars on Amazon, and this little Axion. So the combination of the two were right at a hundred bucks. So if you want to go out and hunt, you know, two hundred yards in, and this thing will probably do sufficient even further i mean this is fine if you want to go out and do a thousand yard a 1500 yard uh competition maybe you need to spend a little bit more and get something a little different i'm not suggesting that you know you can use this for that but for most guys man they're just looking to get out and hunt hunt some hogs hunt some deer and we've proven today that th this is a, a good buy so now jake and i we're gonna try to have a little fun jake already took a couple shots at the uh, two liters i'll take a couple shots at those two liters and see if i get lucky all right, Jake. Let's do it. See if I can get lucky, man. Right there, shot. Woo, Woo, that is. Boom. All right, man. You're up. Nice. Get this last one. Take one more shot, and then it's gonna be up to me, man. Ah, he drilled it. Good shot, man. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Diverse Metal Products over in Houston. My good buddy David, his wife Misty works over at Diverse Metal Products, and they hooked us up with the full size silhouette, the shooting target that we use in today's video. It is IPSC AR steel. That target is $200. They can also scale down and make it a little bit smaller if you guys prefer um, for a different price. They also have four inch gongs that they sell for $15 each and eight inch gongs that are $24 each. They donated that full size silhouette to the channel so we can use that thing for any videos that we need. We'll definitely be using it in some future videos. We'll definitely appreciate it. Uh, it was very, very uh, durable. We put some shots on it, went down and checked it out and we we're very impressed with the, the quality. We'll put a link down in the description where you guys can get over to their website. Uh, we'll also link to their Instagram where they have a few different pictures where you guys can go check them out there. But again, we really, really appreciate Diverse Middle Products uh, supporting and hooking up the channel. Uh, you guys make sure you go check them out. All right, guys, this was super fun. This video took a little bit longer for Jake and I to do. One, because we were trying some new toys. We had this Axion going. We'll have a link down in the description where you can pick that up on Amazon. And we'll have a link down in the description where you can pick up this uh, CB Life 6x24x50 scope. Uh, and plus, we didn't have Zach here, so Jake and I are trying to record and shoot at the same time. Definitely miss having Zach here, but I appreciate uh, Jake a whole bunch. We had a whole lot of fun. Uh, you guys saw this little $48 scope did, this budget scope. Even from 200 yards, we're hitting little two liters that are about you know, four inches wide. Uh, so if you can hit those guys, you're definitely able to hit deer, caribou, uh, hogs, whatever you're hunting with. So I suggest you guys go out and grab you one of these if you're looking for something budget. If you got the money and you want to spend a little bit more on the scope, be my guest. But man, I, I trust this. I probably won't even take this uh, this scope off this 308. I'll probably leave it on. Uh, worked out really good. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Appreciate you guys continued support. And uh, we'll be back real soon with more videos. Thank you.